Today we have with us this 2015 Ford Police Interceptor Utility. Now I've driven a lot of police interceptors and I'm yet to test one of these Explore Police Interceptor Utility vehicles out. So I'm really excited to check it out and get to show it to you guys. In this video, I'm going to show you guys and tell you some things that I've noticed compared to other police interceptors that I've driven. And also, since I own a police interceptor Impala, I'm going to pick out some differences between those two vehicles. But in this video, we're going to go over some performance and capacity related details and just take an in-depth look at this vehicle. So the Ford Police Interceptor Utility is commonly mistaken for a Ford Explorer and essentially that is what this vehicle is but if you go to buy parts for it if you go to a dealership or you go to a parts store and you tell them ford explorer police interceptor they're not going to find anything because it is under a ford police interceptor utility ford also made a ford police interceptor and the ford police interceptor is basically the taurus but the utility version is essentially the explorer and it has been redesigned for 2020 but this is a really common used police interceptor across the board in the united states a lot of police departments have them my local departments that i have a sheriff's department and a city police department and the state uh, police department that i have all within around a 25 mile radius of my house they all have these on their force I could be wrong, but in my opinion, when I see one of these, or when I see even a civilian model Explorer, I automatically have trained myself to think that's a police officer. And I think that these vehicles are going to obtain that reputation like the Crown Victoria had in the sense that when people see a Crown Victoria, they know that that's a police car because that was made for police officers and police departments. and people just get scared when they see them most of the time because they think it's a cop and I think that these are getting that reputation and that's not necessarily a bad thing buyers of the Ford police interceptor do have two available engine options the one we have with us today the 3.7 liter v6 engine producing 304 horsepower and 279 pound-feet of torque and there's the considerably more powerful and fun to drive 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost producing 365 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque. Quite the jump in performance there, as you can see. From what I've found out, is a lot of departments don't pay the extra to get the twin turbo, and most of these that you see on the road are just going to have the 3.7 liter. So if you come across one of these, more than likely under the hood is the 3.7 V6. A very nice thing about the Interceptor Utility is that they are standard all-wheel drive. And I can understand why law enforcement is switching over to SUVs because they just make for a better all-year-round vehicle that they can drive in any climate and they can also drive off-road without having to worry about getting stuck. As far as standard features go on the 2015 Ford Police Interceptor Utility, you're going to have a 9-inch space between driver's seat and passenger seat for aftermarket police installed consoles two 12 volt power outlets up front the vehicle has been 75 mile an hour rear crash tested comes with standard all-wheel drive a heavy-duty 220 amp alternator audio is going to be AM FM stereo single CD player with mp3 capability clock and six speakers the battery is a heavy-duty 78 amp 750 cold cranking amp battery from the factory Built-in steel intrusion plates in both front seat backs. That's going to be an extra nice safety feature for police officers as they're having to haul around prisoners from time to time. Cargo area is going to be a flat load floor. Climate controls, manual air conditioning, column shifter, cooling system that is heavy duty, cruise control, heavy duty electric power assisted steering. The 3.7 liter V6 is the standard engine that comes in the Ford Police Utility Interceptor and the 3.5 liter is optional. Engine hour meter, exterior key locks for the driver, front passenger and lift gate, heavy duty vinyl flooring, front console mounting plate, full size spare wheel and tire with tire pressure monitoring system. The one that we have with us today has the brand new spare tire still in it and it's never been used solar tinted front windows, 
and also privacy glass in the second row and rear cargo area. Projector beam halogen headlamps, easy to drop headliner, independent front and rear suspensions, locking glove compartment, my Ford system with 4.2 inch color LCD display, in police instrument cluster, and center stack smart display, heavy duty powertrain mounts, red and white dome lights in the first row, also in the second row and the one that we have with us today, front and rear scuff plates, rear vinyl 60-40 split seat, LED tail lamps, 245-55R18 all season tires, police calibrated six speed automatic transmission, on the EcoBoost engine only is going to be a standard underbody deflector plate. When I'm driving the Ford Police Interceptor Utility, the handling is very responsive and that's due to the independent front and rear suspension. The acceleration right off the bat is pretty responsive, it has a nice peppy gas pedal. Like I said there, from the dead stop, it really does have quite a bit of pep to it. And in that city driving environment for police officers, it's going to get them up to speed rather quickly. The handling of the vehicle is very impressive. I am just blown away at how tight and responsive it is compared to my 9C1 2012 Impala. It just really knocks that out of the water. And let's get a quick acceleration bit. And 60. Taking the corner there, it's really tight and it doesn't have any kind of body roll or play at all. And once you're up to highway speeds, I'm going about 65 right now. My tack is resting at around 2100 RPMs, which is not that bad. I'm going, uh, get going a little bit faster now. I'm going 70 miles an hour now, about 2300 RPMs, and it's not straining. If I push the gas, it does have the power to pick up and accelerate like you would expect it to. It's nothing too crazy. It's not a sports car by any means. Braking is capable, no wobble or unstableness. It's very solid as you're coming to a stop and taking off. When you're accelerating in it, it really just gets you up to speed quickly. When you're on the highway going around 60 to 70 miles an hour, if you go to punch it at that point, it's kind of a more of a dull response per se. Um, compared to something like the Crown Victoria or even my Impala, once my Impala is on the highway and you punch it, it really just goes. This is a little bit less than that, but the response time to get you up to 60 and also the handling really just makes up for that. Keep in mind, it is a big SUV and for just the entry level engine of the 3.7 liter, you can't really expect a whole lot more. They did redesign it and they took away the 3.7 liter V6 and now they have the 3 liter EcoBoost. So you're having an updated engine even compared to the 3.5 liter twin turbo that was optional in this model. And that's just in a four year span. So it has improved for the new 2020 model year. One thing that I wish was different, not that I'm gonna go out and buy one of these brand new, but from the time that the Ford Police Interceptor Utility came out until they redesigned it in 2020, average Joe could just go to his local Ford dealership and he could buy one of these police interceptors. And of course he wouldn't be able to install the light bars and have all the police equipment and radios and police decals on it, but he could drive around an unmarked police interceptor. And now it's not like that because the 2020 police interceptor utility is not available for sale to the public. That's something I wish was different but I get what they're doing there. Um, they redesigned it and they want police officers to have something that is specifically made for them, kind of like the Crown Victoria was. I was definitely impressed with the way that it got up to speed there though. I had driven it prior to filming this video, 
hadn't pushed the accelerator that much though and I gotta say it really did get up to speed a lot quicker than I thought that it would didn't really feel quite as quick as my Impala uh, my Impala having the 302 horsepower front wheel drive it just seemed a little bit quicker to me but really it's an enjoyable drive it's it's a nice daily driver it's something you can haul family around in it's something you can take to the store and it's just a really solid practical vehicle that is going to make a nice daily driver once they're retired from police departments like this one is here keep in mind this is the 3.7 liter v6 engine with 304 horsepower so it's not the most powerful engine in the Ford Police Interceptor utility and I definitely can tell that it's not the most powerful and amongst other police interceptors it's not quite at the top as far as performance goes in my opinion having driven the Impala with the 3.6 liter and also Tahoe PPVs and then of course you do have the Caprice with the V8 that you have so I would say that the Explorer is not at the top as far as performance goes in the market of police interceptors. With that being said, I do not want to discredit this vehicle at all from being a good police interceptor. It's by no means the most reliable vehicle on the road. They do have their little cosmetic things here and there, but it is a solid and well-made vehicle that is going to last police departments a long time. The one we have with us today has 82,000 miles. And it's still running just like it should. A common thing on the Ford Police Interceptor utility that has been repaired on this one is the door panels tend to come up. And that is kind of a quality glitch issue on the interceptors and on the civilian models. It started to happen on both sides, but it has been taken care of. This right here is not the vehicle's fault, but it did have a tear in the seat that has been repaired. The rubber floor liner does have some mats down and the liner is holding up well. The steering wheel is still in good shape. It doesn't have any fray or gouging or anything like that. Holding up nice. It does feel to be a good quality wheel. Once again, power windows, locks, and mirrors. Let's go ahead and start it up. Starts right up. Another common thing on these Explorers or Police Interceptor Utility vehicles is the liftgate ajar message. A common thing, you have to do something in the tailgate to get it to go off. But if you just hit OK when that comes on, it goes off and you have your digital speedometer display there in the center. Trip 1 and 2 meters, fuel economy information. You also have additional vehicle information like distance to empty. We do have our hour meters gauge in there and additional vehicle settings like driver assist, vehicle display settings, and also convenience. Wiper settings, oil life reset. When I'm driving the vehicle, I like to have that digital speedometer display. On the right side, you have your certified calibrated speedometer. Tack over on the left. In the center, indicates what gear you're in, and also your gas gauge just below your tachometer. On the left side, we have blinkers and wiper controls. And also, we do have our exterior lighting controls over there on the left, interior gauge cluster dimming, your interior lighting controls that turn your interior lights on just by your rear view mirror there, and in the civilian models that will turn on the lights that are in the back of the vehicle, which these have the white and red police dome lights in the front and rear. Column shifter with your low gear button, audio controls over here, seek, media, mute, and volume buttons. And on the left side, we have your toggle switches for the center stack display in between the gauge cluster. Below that, we do have the cruise control. Chrome interior door handles all the way around. The door panels are a soft to the touch material right here, surrounding your power windows, locks, and mirrors. Down here is gonna be a hard plastic with storage and cup holder space. Up here is also a soft to the touch material. Another nice feature that these police interceptors have for police departments is that the back doors are just locked no matter what from the inside. They don't have the child safety lock feature. So if I get in and shut this door, I'm not gonna be able to get in and out because there's no child safety adjustable lock as you can see. 
and also even if the doors are unlocked it's not going to matter the doors are just going to be locked from the inside and also as we mentioned earlier you can hear the sound of the steel plates in the back of the seats for the front that's going to be a very nice protective safety feature for officers riding up front if for some reason the prisoners in the back tend to have a weapon or something that they would try to stick through the seat or something to try to get up front that's a great safety feature to protect law enforcement uh, when they're driving down the road with prisoners in the vehicle when these vehicles are active duty in the center, you will find a lot of police equipment mounted into them. This one right here has had all of the equipment removed, so it's just a blank slate here. And that's a nice area to put a console or extra storage bins or whatever you might want to put there. The back seats are vinyl and also 60-40 rear split. And that's a very nice feature, it makes it feel more like a civilian model. However, this one here did come with a hard plastic seat cover and a prisoner gate. The prisoner gate has been removed as well as the hard plastic seat cover. And under that hard plastic cover, I did find that these seats right here, the vinyl 6040s, are like brand new and they really don't appear like they were even used. They also do fold down just by pulling the lever on the side of the seat. And also, as we mentioned earlier, we do have the flat load floor. Underneath here we find our brand new spare tire and jack still intact to the vehicle Never used storage compartment on the right side of the hatch cargo area Also, you do have more storage compartments there with a cup holder on each side Additional storage back here Grab handle to make it easier to shut the hatch chrome all-wheel drive badging and over on the other side, we have our police interceptor badging. Also, by pulling this handle on the rear seats, you can adjust the back position of the seats, making it more comfortable if you have passengers that want to recline or have a more straight up and down position. Makes for a more comfortable ride. Once again, the steel plate on this side as well. Here's a view of your dashboard from the rear. And the front passenger side. More storage and also cup holder space. In our glove compartment, we still have the 2015 Police Interceptor Owner's Manual and more T-Guide booklets in there. Brushed chrome strip along your glove box and also more brushed chrome finishing along the sides of the climate and radio controls and mixed in with the steering wheel that is three spoke. Sunglasses holder. We do have a pen holder installed on this one. 304 horsepower and 279 pound-feet of torque. Under here you will find that 220 amp alternator and coming from the factory once again is the 750 pull cranking amp battery. This one right here has been replaced and it is a 850 pull cranking amp battery. Listening to it run, it's very quiet, free of any ticks, knocks, squeaks, or anything out of the ordinary. And it really should be at only four years old and just 82,000 low miles. Also up front, we do have the body color grill. Very nice feature on this one. Gloss black, so it's going nicely with the black paint of the vehicle. And looking at the 18 inch steel wheels, we do have the nice chrome inserted police center caps. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video review and tour of the 2015 Ford Police Interceptor Utility, commonly known as the Ford Explorer Police Interceptor. I definitely enjoyed filming it and getting to show it to you guys because I'm a really big fan of these retired police interceptors and I enjoy getting to check them out and see what they're like and it's really cool to compare the driving experience between all the different models that I've driven. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. 
comment below and tell me your thoughts on the Ford Police Interceptor Utility and also on this video. Be sure to subscribe today and make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos just like this one.